Dhamma Jaya Gopi Jana Vallabha Jaya Giri Varadhari Jaya Giri Varadhari Jaya Gopi Jaya Yashoda Nandana Jaya Vrajajana Ranjana Jaya Vrajajana Ranjana Jaya Yamuna Tiravana Chari Jaya Kuncha Bihari Jaya Cha. Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kuncha Bihari Jaya Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kuncha Bihari शिंताई गौरचंद्र भगवान की शरणाम संकीर्तन की ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Hare Krishna So today we are reading from Canto 1, Chapter 11 Chapter entitled Lord Krishna's Entrance into Dwarka Text 16 and 17 Nishamya Prishtama Yantam Vasudevo Mahamanaha Akrurascha Agrasenascha Ramascha Adbhuta Vikramaha Pradyumna Charu Deshnescha Sambo Jambhavati Sutaha Praharsha Vegu Chashitaha Vegu Shayanasana Bhojanaha Devotees, it's a big purport and verse, so one one.
محتاجين محتاجين Word to word meaning nishamya just hearing prashtam the dear most ayanataham coming home vasudevah vasudev the father of krishna mahamanaha the magnanimous akrurah akrura cha and ugrasenaha ugrasen cha and ramah balaram the elder brother of krishna cha and adbhuta superhuman vikramah proves pradyumna pradyumna चारुदेशनः चारुदेशनः च एंड सांबह सांबा जांबवती सुतः द सन ऑफ जांबवती प्रहर्ष एक्सट्रीम हैप्पीनेस वेग फोर्स उच्चितः being influenced by shayanah lying down asana sitting on bhojanah dining translation and purport by his divine grace bhai charna ravind bhakti vedanta swami shri prabhupada shri prabhupad ki on hearing that the most dear krishna was approaching dwarka dham magnanimous vasudev akrura Ugrasen, Balaram, the superhumanly powerful, Pradyumna, Charudeshna, and Samba, the son of Jambavati, all extremely happy, at abundant resting, sitting, and dining. Purport, Vasudev, Vasudev, son of King Surasena, husband of Devaki, and father of Lord Sri Krishna. He is the he is the brother of Kunti and father of Subhadra. Subhadra was married with her cousin Arjuna, and this system is still prevalent in the some parts of India. Vasudev was appointed minister of Ugrasena, and later on he married eight daughters of Ugrasena's brother Devaka. Devaki is only one of them. Kamsa was his brother-in-law. and vasudev accepted voluntarily imprisonment by kamsa on mutual agreement to deliver the eighth son of devaki this was foiled by the will of krishna as maternal uncle of the pandavas he took active parts in the purificatory process of the pandavas he he sent for the priest kashyap at the shatashringa parvat and he executed the functions when krishna appeared within the bars of kamsa's prison house he was transferred by vasudev to the house of nanda maharaj the foster father of krishna at gokula krishna disappeared along with baladev prior to the disappearance of vasudev and Ar- and arjuna vasudeva's nephew undertook the charge of funeral ceremony after vasudeva's disappearance akrura the commander in chief of vrishni dynasty 
and a great devotee of Lord Krishna. Akrura attained success in devotional service to the Lord by the one single process of offering prayers. He was the husband of Sutani, daughter of Ahuka. He supported Arjuna when Arjuna took Subhadra forcibly away by the will of Krishna. Both Krishna and Akrura went to see Arjuna after his successful kidnapping of Subhadra. Both of them presented dowries to Arjuna after this incident. Akrura was present also when Abhimanyu, the son of Subhadra, was married with Uttara, mother of Maharaj Parikshit. Ahuka, the father-in-law of Akrura, was not on good terms with Akrura, but both of them were devotee of the Lord. Ugrasena, one of the powerful kings of Vrishni dynasty and cousin of Maharaj Kunti Bhoj. His other name is Ahuka. His ministers was Vasudev and son of son was the powerful Kamsa. This Kamsa imprisoned his father and became the king of Mathura. By the grace of Lord Krishna and his brother Lord Baladev, Kamsa was killed and Ugrasen was reinstalled on the throne. When Salva attacked the city of Dwarka, Ugrasen fought very valiantly and repulsed the enemy. Ugrasena inquired from Naradji about the divinity of Lord Krishna and when Yadu dynasty was to be vanquished, Ugrasena was entrusted with the iron lump produced from the womb of Samba. He cut the iron lump into pieces and then pasted it and mixed it up with the sea water on the coast of Dwarka. After this, he ordered complete prohibition within the city of Dwarka and the kingdom. He got salvation after his death. Baladev, he is the divine son of Vasudev by his wife Rohini. He is also known as Rohini Nandan, the beloved son of Rohini. He was also interested to Nanda Maharaj along with his mother Rohini when Vasudev embraced imprisonment by mutual agreement with Kamsa. So Nanda Maharaj is also foster father of Baladev along with Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna and Lord Baladev were constant companions from their very childhood although they were step brothers. He is the plenary manifestation of supreme personality of Godhead and therefore he is a as, go as good and powerful as Lord Krishna, he belongs to the Vishnu Tattva, the principle of Godhead. He attended the Swamvara ceremony of Draupadi along with Sri Krishna. When Subhadra was kidnapped by Arjuna by the organized plan of Sri Krishna, Baladev was very angry with Arjuna and wanted to kill him at once. Sri Krishna, for the sake of his dear friend, fell at the feet of Lord Baladev and implored him not to be so angry. Sri Baladev was thus satisfied. Similarly, he was once very angry with Kauravas and he wanted to throw their whole city into the depths of the Yamuna. But the Kauravas satisfied him by surrendering unto his divine lotus feet. He was actually the seventh son of Devaki prior to the birth of Lord Krishna, but by the will of Lord, he was transferred to the womb of Rohini to escape the wrath of Kamsa. His, his other name is therefore Sankarshana, who is also plenary portion of Sri Baladev. Because he is as powerful as Lord Krishna and can bestow spiritual power to devotees, he is therefore known as Baladev. In the Vedas also it is enjoined that no one can know the Supreme Lord without being favored by Baladev. Bala means spiritual strength, not physical. Some less intelligent persons interpret Bala as the strength of the body. But no one can have a spiritual realization by physical strength. The physical strength ends with the end of physical body. But spiritual strength follows the spiritual spirit soul 
to the next transmigration and therefore the strength obtained by Baladev is never wasted. The strength is eternal and thus Baladev is the original spiritual master of all devotees. Sri Baladev was also a class friend of Lord Sri Krishna as a student of Sandipani Muni. In his childhood, he killed many Asuras along with Sri Krishna the, and specifically he killed the Dhenakasur at Talavan. During the Kurukshetra battle, he remained neutral and he tried his best not to bring about the fight. He was in favor of Duryodhana, but still he remained neutral. When there was a club fight between Duryodhana and Bhishma Sen, he was present on the spot. He was angry at Bhima Sen when the latter struck Duryodhana on the thigh or below the belt and he wanted to retaliate the unfair action. Lord Sri Krishna saved Bhima from his wrath, but he left the place at once, being disgusted at Bhima Sen. And after his departure, Duryodhana fell to the ground to meet his death. The funeral ceremony of Abhimanyu, the son of Arjuna, was performed by him as he was maternal uncle. It was impossible to be performed by any one of the Pandavas who were all overwhelmed with the grief. At the last stage, he departed from the world by producing a great white snake from his mouth and thus he was carried by Sheshanag in the shape of serpent. Pradyumna, incarnation of Kamadev, or according to the others, incarnation of Sanat Kumar, born as son of personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna, and Lakshmi Devi Srimati Rukmini, the principal queen at Dwarka. He was one of those who went to congratulate Arjuna upon his marrying Subhadra. He was one of the great generals who fought with Salva and while fighting with him, he became unconscious on the battlefield. His charioteer brought him back to the camp from the battlefield and for this action he was very sorry. He revoked his charioteer. However, he fought again with Salva and was victorious. He uh, heard all about the different demigods from Naraji. He is one of the four plenary expansions of Lord Krishna. He is the third one. He inquired from his father Shri Krishna about the glories of the Brahmanas during the fratricial fratricidial war amongst descendants of Yadu. He died at the hand of Bhoja, another king of Vrishnis. After his death, he was installed in the original position. Charu Deshna, the another son of Lord Sri Krishna and Rukmini Devi. He was also present during the Swayamvar ceremony of Draupadi. He was a great warrior like his brother and father. He fought with Vivini Dhaka and killed him at killed him in the fight. Sambha, one of the great heroes of Yadu dynasty and the son of Lord Sri Krishna by his wife Jambhavati. He learned the military art of throwing arrows from Arjuna and he became a member of parliament during the time of Maharaj Yudhishthir. He was present during the Rajasuya Yagya of Maharaj Yudhishthir. When all the Vrishnis were assembled during the time of Prabhash Yagya, Yagya, his glorious activities were narrated by Sattaki before Lord Baladev. He was also present along with his father, Lord Sri Krishna, during the Ashwamed Yagya performed by Yudhishthir. He was presented, he was presented before some Vrishis falsely dressed as a pregnant woman by his brothers, and in fun he asked the Rishis what what he was going to deliver. The Rishis replied that he will deliver a lump of iron which would be the cause of fratricial war in the family of Yadu. The next day in the morning, Samba delivered a large lump of iron which was entrusted with Ugrasena for necessary action. Actually later on there was the foretold fratricial war and Samba died in that war. 
So all these sons of Lord Krishna left their respective palaces and leaving aside all engagements, including lying down, sitting and dining, hasten towards their exalted father. Jai Prabhupada. So, Omagyanati Mirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Muktam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Ruta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Mitam Tam Sachivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Mitam Sha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhaktivedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashat Deshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gauratuse Nama He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Randa Vaneshwari Rishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpa Tarubhasa Kripa Sindhu Tarevacha Patitana Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shrivasadi Gaurabhakta Randa Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna So I welcome all the devotees for this morning Bhagavatam class and I seek blessings of all the devotees so that I can discuss something on this verse glorify Srimad Bhagavatam and please all of you and by that also purify my heart all devotees sitting here they have they are inspiring me and they have guided me so far in my Krishna consciousness and I'm very small in front of them sitting here speaking so whatever pleases you in the discourse of discussion, please accept it as a uh, realization of acharyas or guidance or whatever I have heard from my superiors and whatever flaws you see, see it as my uh, inexperience or uh, uh, not able to ex express in proper ways. So the, we'll just read translation. On hearing that the most dear Krishna was approaching Dwarka Dham, magnanimous Vasudev Akrura, Ugrasen, Balaram, the superhumanly powerful, Pradyumna, Charudeshna, and Samba, the son of Jambhavati, all extremely happy, abundant, resting, sitting, and dining. So, from the purport itself, we can see Srila Prabhupada's uh, uh, compassion that in first canto he has, the audience may not know who are these people, so he took so much of pain writing. Na, Almost three page of forward <laughs> while reading, I was sweating, <laughs> and Prabhupada took all the efforts to write it. So this first canto is really very uh, beautiful canto in which we see there is a uh, uh, how, how somebody is like just a sadhaka and he turned into pure devotee that is Narada Muni. Then we see the devotees who experienced uh, union with the Lord. And they experience separation also. So we see Narad Muni himself, he got darshan of the Lord for some time and then he uh, again lose that darshan of the Lord and he was feeling in the separation. Then we see the Pandavas, they also were there with the Lord for so long time and then time came to depart for Lord Krishna, then they were experiencing that viraha. And then we see even the Dwarkavasis, they were with the Lord, but then Lord went to uh, for uh, battlefield and then now they are, uh, they have so long, they have experienced uh, Viraha from the Lord. Now they are experiencing or they are awaiting the Lord entrance in the Dwarka city. 
so uh, his holiness uh, gaur krishna goswami maharaj very nicely was explaining in one of the class ki, when krishna jab krishna uh, हस्तिनापुर से जब युद्ध हो गया सब बैटल फील्ड का वो जा रहे थे द्वारका तो पहले उनको युधिष्ठिर महाराज उन्होंने रुकाया फिर फिर भी भगवान रुक गए फिर दूसरी बार वापस उनको रुकाया उस टाइम भी वो हस्तिना वही रुक गए और तीसरे टाइम जब वो जाने लगे फिर भी सब लोग सब जो हस्तिनापुर वासी पांडवास थे वापिस वो भगवान को रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे थे कि आप रुक जाओ तो फिर भगवान कहते हैं कि अरे भाई मैं भी एक गृहस्थ हूँ घर घर गृहस्थी वाला आदमी हूँ ना मेरी भी रानियां है बच्चे हैं और एक एक रानी नहीं तो 16,800 रानियां है और सैकड़ों बच्चे हैं तो मुझे उनका ख्याल करना है ना लाइक दैट सो लॉर्ड डिपार्ट्स फ्रॉम ना हस्तिनापुर ही गोज टू द्वारका एंड ऑल देयर द द्वारका वासीज दे आर वेरी एक्साइटेड टू सी द लॉर्ड एंड दे आर एक्साइटेड सो हेयर प्रोपाज इज मैंशनिंग दे ऑल अबांडन रेस्टिंग सिटिंग एंड डाइनिंग so this is how the pure devotees or the the parshad of the lord they are attracted to the lord na uh, uh, some some months back uh, shri baldev prabhu from chopad he came to aurangabad and he was narrating this incident na how we can how to understand the pure devotees attraction for the supreme lord so he was mentioning uh, after many years his holiness radhanath swami maharaj he went to new vrindavan and uh, maharaj was there for some days so uh, the temple authority is there i guess president he told maharaj to make a sandesh and we know that even shila prabhupad used to appreciate the sandesh prepared by his holiness radhanath swami maharaj so maharaj uh, he made a sandesh after many years he was chopat he was a sanyasi and he went there so then after the bhagavatam class of maharaj uh, they, they they glorified maharaj and then the authority there they announce that the radha rundavan chandra there is offered with the sandesh prepared by uh, his holiness radhanath swami maharaj and it was it was known to all the community he used to make very nice so he announced that now this prasadam we are going to we are going to distribute but distribute in the sense we are going to make auction for it <laughs> will uh, you know, those who want they can pay a donation to the temple so the auction started na you know, $100 200 300 1000 and uh, then guess who won the auction his holiness chandramouli swami maharaj <laughs> he won the auction and uh, he he whatever dakshina he had got from his travel he gave it to the temple authority and he took it so this incident was uh, narrated by maharaj himself chandra his holiness chandramouli swami maharaj he was saying that all of you others were sitting they they just heard na the radhana swami maharaj used to make good sandesh but i was the one i had tested it many times and i could know how how reliable it is na so that's why i put whatever dakshina and i took it so like that so like that a pure devotee he also has tasted a sweetness of krishna krishna's service so and that's why they are very attracted to the krishna like uh, we uh, we hear in prallad maharaj uh, saying that the how the iron files are attracted to the magnet similarly those who are pure in the heart they are naturally attracted to the service of the lord or to the lord so we can see uh, in this uh, in this verse that who all are like, who are serving krishna we can see balaram ji himself who is none other than krishna himself in the chaitanya charitamrit it is said sarva avatari krishna swayam bhagavan tahara dvitiya deh shri balaram एक ही स्वरूप दोहे भिन्न मात्र काय अद्य काय व्यूह कृष्ण लीला रस हाय सो वी कैन सी दैट हाउ बलराम जी ही हिमसेल्फ जस्ट द सेकंड एक्सपांशन ऑफ कृष्ण एंड ही ही हैज ऑल पावर्स व्हाट कृष्ण हैज ना इट इज सेड दिस आर दिस टू आर वन एंड सेम आइडेंटिटी दे डिफर ओनली इन द फॉर्म the lord balram is the first bodily expansion of krishna and he assist in lord krishna's past time so being uh, so powerful and uh, able to enjoy all the opulence still balram ji chooses to serve krishna he is called as supreme personality of servitude godhead he takes pleasure in serving the lord then we see 
बलराम जी हियर इट्स मेन्शन प्रद्युम्न ऑल्सो हिज जस्ट थर्ड एक्सपांशन न प्रद्युम्न स्वांश ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड दे आर ऑल्सो अट्रैक्टेड टू द लॉर्ड दे ऑल्सो डिजायर टू सर्व द लॉर्ड देन वी हियर द वसुदेव वसुदेव जी द फादर ऑफ कृष्णा He is also attracted. Then Sambha and Charu Deshna, all these great peoples. So one time, uh, His Grace Radhisham Prabhu was mentioning that whenever you get some doubt that what I am practicing or devotional service is that correct path or now uh, if some doubt arises, then just look back or see the scriptures. Now you will find which all people are serving Krishna, Balram Ji. Now then the. Uh, mahavishnu uh, we know the past time that Maha, even mahavishnu was attracted to the beauty of lord krishna uh, we hear this past time that in the hastinapur where the kingdom of the pandavas was there so there was one brahmana and uh, his wife gave birth to a child and Im- immediately that child died now this happened first time then even second child also uh, was she, he also died then he went to then the brahmana went to the pandava yudhishthira maharaj and said na because the king is impious because of that this thing is happening so arjuna was really very furious or he thought how he is speaking like that then when next time then arjuna said to brahmana that you now if son dies i i will see son will not die and if he dies then i will give up my life like that so when it happened so when and Arj- when the uh, the wife of brahmana she was giving birth to the child arjuna was around the home na uh, protecting but still the son died and then arjuna was really shocked na uh, how did it happen so he was about to give his his life then uh, krishna he told him what is happening and he took uh, arjuna to the abode of mahavishnu and there they could find the sons of brahmanas there and there the mahavishnu was mentioning that actually i wanted to take darshan of lord krishna but krishna i know he will not come so i just arranged this situation so that krishna will be for saving his devotee arjuna he will come to this come to my abode and give me darshan give will give me chance to serve him so like that then we see mother lakshmi she is also serving the Lord Narad Muni, Brahma Ji, now Lord Shiva. So uh, Shri Bhakti Manat Thakur says, "Je pada lagiya Rama tapasya kori la, je pada paiya Shiva, Shiva tvalo bhi la, je pada labhiya Brahma krutar to hoi la, je pada Narad Muni." rudaye dharila so in that we can see that even mother lakshmi she is doing tapasya just to get the lotus feet, service of the lotus feet of the lord lord shiva got his shivatva auspiciousness by serving the lord and brahma ji you know perfected his life by serving the lord even narad muni so all these great people are serving the lord so we can easily understand that the path we are walking is a very safe and it's the perfect path which is walked which is practiced by all the great personalities and we also see na the 12 mahajanas uh, they are even in the material sense they are such a great personality still they are their intention of life is just to serve the lord uh, yesterday only in our bhakti vedanta vidyapitam we were studying the uh, sixth, fifth canto so in that it comes the priyavat maharaj na uh, he divided the bhumandala in the seven dwipas and seven oceans and uh, one of the thought that why he did so is uh, he had a seven sons uh, and to uh, give the property na uh, distribute the property so he created seven oceans and seven dwipas now if some, some father wants to give to son something at at max they can give flat apartment bungalow car phone but the priyavrat maharaj he just gave he gave oceans he gave dwipas na such a big personality and still he is also serving the lord so we can understand that and priyavrat maharaj one more thing that in his time there was no night he expanded himself as a second son and he was illuminating entire bhumandala for all time he was there 
Anbu Mandala. So this great personal person are serving the Lord. So we can uh, we can also na, look uh, on their service and we can also go ahead with serving the Lord. So, so this verse also says these are the people attracted to the Lord and we can see their eagerness na, to serve the Lord. So we we can see we'll see now how the uh, three categories of people are attracted to the Lord like pure devotees, sadhaka and uh, those who are non-devotees. So pure devotees they are naturally inclined to the service of the Lord and uh, those who are they, they want to serve the Lord also and they want to enjoy material opulence. Uh, his, his grace, Gaurang Guru says, Thodi bhakti, thodi shakti. <laughs> so they want to do um, bhakti also and they want to enjoy shakti of the Lord also. So we, we can see that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he himself exhibited such an eagerness na, throughout his life, especially after he takes sannyas. Uh, he exhibited that eagerness to the serve to serve the Lord. When he was on South Indian tour, he uh, he went there. So it is mentioned that throughout the South India, he created the waves of kirtans, na, and he he delivered the country South India. It's like like that. It is mentioned in the Charit in the Charitamrit. So this eagerness, we can see the eagerness of. Uh, from Lord, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself was eager and by associating with him or by his darshan, many people, they also developed that eagerness to associate with the Lord or to serve the Lord, chant the holy name. So there is a pastime of Kurma Brahman, which is mentioned in the Chaitanya Charita Amrit. So when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was on tour or pilgrimage to South India, he created this Nama, he created ecstasy in the people there uh, and they all of them were chanting or doing Nama Sankirtan. It is mentioned Matta Siha Praya Prabhu Karila Gaman Prema Veshe Yaya Kari Nama Sankirtan until the time Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to South India. Na, he, did, he did not uh, exhibit his ecstasies. In a, Navadvipa he did not show his uh, display. Na, his, uh, uh, his uh, devotional service, ecstasies. Navadvipe yei shakti na kaile prakash sei shakti prakashi nistarila dakshina desh. So, until like this he was doing, so he comes to the one place, uh, Kuruma Shetra, where there is a deity of Kuruma Dev. And uh, as we know, when, whichever temple, uh, na, na, uh, na, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited, there he used to dance in front of the deities na, or glorify the deities. Uh, so when he went to the Kurmakshetra also, there also he did Prema Veshe Hase Kandi Nritta Gita Kaila Dekhi Sarva Lokera Chitte Chamatkara Haila. So by seeing the Lord's dance and Lord's, uh, Lord's Kirtan, all of them were stuck to wonder and they also they got attracted to the Lord. Darshane Vaishnava Haile Bale Krishna Hari Prema Veshe Nache Loka Urdhva Bahukari. And when they see the Lord, they saw the Lord, Lord Himself is doing, they also uh, started dancing, na, raising their arms. So, this is how we can understand that this eagerness to see the Lord or to glorify the Lord or to participate in the Kirtan of the Lord, that is. Now, we, we get that by associating with others, those who are eager to do that. So, in the same town, there was uh, one Brahman whose name was Kurma, Kurma Brahman. Kurme name se grame vaidika Brahman bahushadda bhakte kaila prabhura nimantran. So, that, that Brahman, he saw the Lord, he, the Vedic Brahman, he saw the Lord and he was very attracted to the Lord's. Na, ex, na, Lord's devotional service and ecstasies. Then he invited the Lord and he glorified the Lord arrived it, at his home and he was, uh, Brahmana says that this lotus feet, oh Lord, this your lotus feet are meditated by Brahmaji, Shivaji and the same lotus feet has come to my home today. So uh, there is no limit to my fortune. Na, I, all my things have uh, 
got purified and they are they have attained the glorification so in that course of discussion he says to the lord he was so attracted to the lord that he at once wanted to give up his uh, family home and he he said to the lord i just want to travel with you so he was saying कृपा कर प्रभु मोर या तुम संगे सहिते न पारी दुख विषय तरंगे सो ही वॉज इंग ओ लॉर्ड आई कैन नॉट नो मोर टॉलरेट द पेन विच इज कमिंग थ्रू दिस सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन विषय तरंग नाउ प्लीज ब्लेस मी दैट आई आई कैन कम विथ यू ना असोसिएट विथ यू so by hearing this lord chaitanya mahaprabhu acknowledge his eagerness to join or at once give up his duties and just join but lord said lord chaitanya mahaprabhu said prabhu kahe aiche baat kabu na kahiba grahe rahi krishna naam nirantar laiba and then famous verse he says yaar dekha tar kahi krishna upadesh amar agya guru hay tar desh and by doing so what will happen kabuna bandhi be tomar vishaya tarang punar piye thai pab mor sang so this brahmana was very eager to associate with the lord and give up his family go ahead but lord said don't say this again na be at home and what he said krishna naam nirantar laiba so he focused that chant the holy name of krishna na and uh, by doing this what will happen vishaya taranga the uh, the desire for sense gratification will not na uh, catch you or you will not fall prey to the uh, sense gratification of this material world and then you will once again get my association so and throughout the india south india tour whenever the devotees they were attracted to the lord and they wanted to at once give up the association lord always gave this message and said so in that connection shila propad also writes in the purport there i will just read quickly so propad says in the purport this is an opportunity for everyone if one simply follows the instruction of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu under the guidance of representative and chants the hari krishna mantra teaching everyone as far as possible the same principle the contamination of materialistic way of life will not even touch him it does not matter whether one lives in the holy places like vrindavan navadvi or jagannathpuri or in the midst of european cities where their materialistic way of life is very prominent if a devotee follows the instruction of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he lives in the company of the lord wherever he lives he converts that place into vrindavan and navadvip this means that materialism cannot touch him this is the secret of success for one advancing in krishna consciousness so like that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu was emphasizing on chanting the holy names of the lord so uh, we see that like pure devotee they are attracted like uh, we see lord chaitanya mahaprabhu whenever he used to see the uh, dome of the temple or chakra he would run from the long distance just eager to see the darshan of the lord or he himself was very uh, uh, very roaring kirtans na he used to do and uh, he was at, not taking darshan of the lord or even in the glorifying the lord he was he w- he was he used to glorify the devotees and the lord we hear the uh, we heard na several from several days where he hearing the past times of shri shripad madhavendra puri it was narrated by shri chaitanya mahaprabhu glorifying the devotional service of shripad madhavendra puri and not only he was ready, uh, eager to speak even he was very eager to hear na we hear that chaitanya mahaprabhu used to again and again hear the past times of prallad maharaj and dhruva maharaj na Uh, so that way and when in the same south india south india tour when lord chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, visited jiya the narsimha from there he goes to from there he goes to go the uh, banks of the godavari river which is yeah which is at vidyanagar so before uh, going for a south india tour uh, uh, shila sarvabham bhattacharya had told him that when you go to uh, vidyanagar from sure here the 
past times of the lord or krishna tattva from ramananda rai and in that shripa uh, lord chaitanya mahaprabhu request him na tell me about krishna tattva na lord chaitanya mahaprabhu takes very humble position that i am a maya i have taken sanyas in the mayavadi sampraday and i don't know anything about the uh, supremacy of krishna or uh, na the vrindavan uh, dham those things so then he requests and then the ramananda rai says that i am just a shudra i cannot uh, uh, and you are a great sanyasi so then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu says that actually uh, don't cheat me by saying that i am a great sanyasi and you are a shudra the primary need of soul is to hear krishna katha the eagerness na to hear the krishna katha and fulfill that and uh, uh, na give me out of his compassion he was mentioning give me the krishna tattva or tell me what is a krishna tattva so this is how the disposition of pure devotee and we can see that uh, so this is pure devotee then there is a non devotees who who are not attracted to the glories of the lord they are averse to the lord but then there also comes the category sadhaka we all of us trying to uh, exhi- no, uh, do uh, so we are trying to do service to the lord devotional service and we are also by the blessings of shila propad we have got this eagerness to the to serve the lord no uh, whatever extent we have now now we cannot imagine na, not chanting our 16 rounds or eating non offered food na so we have also shown some level of na uh, eagerness na eagerness to celebrate the festival eagerness to visit dham is eagerness to honor prasadam of the lord and uh, one time gaurang guru was mentioning earlier we were uh, counting cricket score now we are counting bhagavad gita score <laughs> earlier we were uh, involved in ipl now we are in gpl gita premier league so our eagerness really na we have na by the and we can see even in the preaching even the 6 months 8 months or one year old na nivdi bhuti in krishna consciousness he is also eager to preach the message that uh na so that propads blessings na that we have received this eagerness to serve but now if you want to take it ahead we have to uh, really follow the path of devotional service very seriously i have just noted down few things which uh, uh, which stops our eagerness to serve the lord to see the form of the lord or uh, to exhibit uh, to to execute the de- limbs of devotional service so w- one of them is very it's a offenses na aparadha one which takes away from the radharani or the aparadhas which uh, it it reduces our attraction for the de- devotional service or there is a uh, doing the sense gratification what happens by doing sense gratification yes there is reaction comes but more than that the tendency to do it again it increases and also our propensity to serve the lord that also reduces so that's why uh, sense gratification should be avoided and they, then we know that we are very much covered by the illusory energy or we have choose to serve the material energy from long time so now because of covering the eagerness na or what we say that uh, spontaneous attraction is not coming that way so uh, we see na that the human life is the one should not misutilize his free will na animals they don't have free will and we should not misutilize actually the one devotee was mentioning that's not misutilizing actually human are not utilizing their free will na so uh, animals they are pushed by the raga dvesha likes and dislikes and the anarthas and if a human being is also doing the same na then he has a free will he is not utilizing it but he just pushed by the thoughts of sense gratification or raga and dvesha so rather than misutilizing he is not utilizing his free will so one should not do that and yeah so by by avoiding these offenses then the sense gra- engagement in sense gratification and one more thing is a very we have a d- still desire we want to give up sense gratification completely engage ourselves in the devotional service of the lord but there are past impressions of sense gratification which doesn't allow us to do so so 
so we have to replace these impressions with the impressions of Krishna consciousness. Na? So these senses we have, the yogi tries to control it, the, the, the non-devotees, they are just given up to those senses, they are not at all controlled and Bhakta, he doesn't want to control them, but rather he wants to engage them in the service of the Lord. So to the degree we engage our senses in the service of the Lord, to that degree we are free from the control of the senses and we uh, engage, we uh, go ahead in the devotional service. And one of the things he was, uh, His Grace Radheshamaru was mentioning that Krishna is a, such a pure person, we cannot handle him for a long time. Now he was giving us, okay, uh, during our PDC time he was mentioning, okay, one 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 day will give you off, full day, and now try just chanting. Now, what, 16 round, 34, no, 48, 64 rounds, and try if you can chant. But so devotees were mentioning, no, Prabhu, we cannot do that. No, it's like Krishna is so pure, and even if we have time, everything is given, still we cannot do that because handling Krishna or because the mind and senses are impure, they cannot hold Krishna for a long time. Uh, Shri Prabhupada, before, uh, before uh, League of Devotees, no? establishing that, he had given one ad in the newspaper, wanted Brahmanats, no? free lodging and boarding. He gave new ad in the newspaper and actually no one turned. Uh, so the devotee was mentioning that even we give everything free lodging, boarding or you tell somebody, you just come and chant here, just read Bhagavatam, we'll provide everything. Still, no, it's very difficult because the senses are impure. So, uh, but by the, as we I read in the Parvati, it was mentioning that if we take the uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instruction seriously and we are in proper guidance, we can also develop the same eagerness to serve the Lord, to serve the devotees. So now may not uh, uh, immediately develop eagerness to serve the Lord, no? Krishna, like we have not even no, that way, Krishna little far idea for us, but now we have a devotees of Krishna and at least we can develop eagerness to serve them. Uh, and uh, like one time I asked one question to His Grace Mahatma Prabhu online, he was, as, he was, I asked him that Prabhupada's many times he mentioned so many things now that uh, we are I'm not doing, Prabhupada says give up sense gratification, uh, no, uh, so many things and I'm not able to do so, I sometimes I get into inferiority complex, what should I do? So he was saying that actually uh, we should not get into inferiority complex, we should keep it as a landmark. Like how a child, na, children or a student, they dream, I will go to IIT or I will go to, I will go to America, I will go to this university or a businessman may think I will expand my business, I will have uh, Rhodes Royal or Mercedes Benz, so many things. So devotee also should, are one day also I will love Krishna, I will give all respect to the devotees, I will not offend devotees, na, I will serve them or I will... Uh, his Holiness Radhana Swami Maharaj says in one of his lecture that uh, what is a what when devotee asks question Maharaj like neophyte devotee or those who have just joined the movement they are also chanting 16 rounds and one who has chanting from last 15 20 years 30 years he is also chanting so what is the difference uh, what so Maharaj was mentioning the what, the sign of advancement or like one who is a doing from long time, he's supposed to you know, seek a shelter in the chanting of the holy name. He's really doing it as it's my life and soul. And uh, like neophyte devotee, they are doing in the clearing stage, you know? but the devotee or advanced, the pure devotees, they do in the uh, taking shelter of the Lord. So like, so there are uh, like this many things by following the acharyas and script, and, uh, our uh, guru and superiors, we can develop same eagerness for the Lord that uh, pure devotees, they have developed eagerness. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki. So if I have spoken, I have sp I spoke, I can also practice in my life.